Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. <clears throat> How's everyone doing this morning? Happy Tuesday. I hope you have your cup of coffee or tea with you or whatever it is that you enjoy drinking this morning. <clears throat> I am using, so again, as I shared with you guys, I wanted to kind of go back and forth a little bit with um, some of the broadcasting, but I'm using StreamYard today. So if you um, are here and you want to say hello, please make sure that, um, that you click on the link above so that Facebook and StreamYard will connect, um, connect us so that I know who you are or just tell me who you are so that I know who is saying hello as well. But um, so yes, so we have a kind of a cloudy day today. It actually even looks like it might rain or snow or something, but it is so cold this morning. Oh my goodness. Um, I went out, there is this gentleman, <clears throat> I'll just share with you guys. There is this young gentleman that comes up. I don't even know how often he comes up this hill, you know, where we live and um, going through, especially during recycling days, you know, to just kind of go through everybody's recycling bin to see if there's any, um, you know, any of the, um, the cans that he can take, you know, to, um, for deposits, you know, for his, um, to take over for deposit. And my husband was going down the hill. He's like, you know, honey, you know, there's, uh, that young gentleman is coming up the road, you know, why don't you give him our bag of, um, cans and bottles that we have. And we have like this large, like, um, leaf, you know, one of those, uh, leaf bags, you know, that, um, that you can use for during when you're picking up leaves and stuff like that, like really like a construction bag <laughs> that's like back in the corner of the garage. I'm like, okay. So, so I'll go out there and I go grab it and I go out and I'm like freezing. And so I wait for him to come up a little bit and I sit hello and it happens to be the same gentleman that I met last year. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, Ed. Um, <clears throat> I actually approached him last year during the winter as well. And his name is Jesse. And, uh, you know, what just, what a soul, blessed soul that he is, you know, and he was talking to me a little bit. And so, you know, I spent some time talking to him while I'm freezing outside. <laughs> But he felt very blessed and I told him, you know, that, you know, I prayed for him and I told him God loves you and, um, and he said, thank you. And, you know, and you could see that he's just the poor thing. I mean, I don't know his living conditions or anything like that, but he had a cart full of bags, full. <laughs> so I don't know if others are helping him as well or if he's just going through, like going through town and picking up all these cans and bottles and stuff. But um, but yes, yeah, so then afterwards, I also prayed for him as well. But um, so yes, last year, I have to share with you guys last year when when this happened, I didn't feel comfortable doing that because you know, the, who's a stranger, I don't even know, maybe he's homeless, you know, maybe he's a drug addict or an alcoholic, who knows, and my husband's asking me to give him, you know, our bottles and cans. And I didn't feel comfortable doing that. But then God just like gave me so much peace when I did and and just as much as my as as much as our father has been working in my heart also you know for me to have so much compassion and love for others it has changed me so much the way that I look at others and the way that I see you know someone that's homeless is so different than years ago and I don't know if that's the same for you guys but you know what God loves them just like he loves you and me he loves them as well so anyway, I just had to share that story with you guys. That was a little something that happened with me this morning. So <laughs> I'm going to be talking to you guys about being steadfast and ready. That is what God put in my heart this morning <clears throat> and to stop at nothing and to just keep seeking his wisdom. So before that, let me start us off with a prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, good morning, Lord. Good morning. Good morning, Abba. Thank you so much for a new day. Again, another new day filled with your mercies, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for Jesse, Father. Thank you for bringing him into this world. I know that you have bigger plans for him, Lord. I know you do. Yes, I feel it. I feel your emotions, Lord. I know you love him, and I know you love everyone, Father. You love everyone. Everyone is your child. 
And I know that your heart is hurting right now with everything going on in our world. But you know, that small little gesture, that small little kindness that we do for someone can change everything. Thank you, Father. Thank you for giving us that compassion and love in our hearts, Lord. Whew. And Father, give us strength to continue to keep fighting for all that you have planned for us and all of the promises that you have for us, Lord. Help us to persevere and to continue to keep seeking your wisdom, Lord. Yes, Lord, your wisdom, Father, your divine knowledge. And then, Lord, I ask for many blessings on everyone that is watching and everyone that will be watching. Father, blessings on their lives and their families and your continued hedge of protection over them, Father, to keep their eyes and their ears and their hearts focused on what is truth, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. All right, so... <clears throat> The first scripture that I want to read to you is actually from um, the book of Genesis. And um, it, this is when Jacob fought with um, God, I'm going to say, you know, with, um, with God and kept fighting and fighting until he, got what he, until he got what he asked for. And he persisted. And, um, of course, he didn't realize he was fighting with God. You know, it was, he, um, was, he was fighting with God's angel. But... Um, but yes, so Genesis 32, 28. <clears throat> so if you have an opportunity to read that chapter, you know, to read that story about Jacob, it's really a cool story. Your name will no longer be Jacob, the man told him. From now on, you will be called Israel because you have fought with God and with men and have won. Wow. And that's when Israel began. It's through Jacob. And then I want to read to you from the Passion Translation <clears throat> from the book of Colossians and chapter 2, Colossians 2, verses 2 and 3. I am contending for you that your hearts will be wrapped in the comfort of heaven and woven together into love's fabric. This will give you access to all the riches of God as you experience the revelation of God's great mystery, Christ. For our spiritual wealth is in him, like a hidden treasure waiting to be discovered. Heaven's wisdom and endless riches of revelation knowledge. Wow. Yes, his wisdom is that hidden treasure Jesus is that hidden treasure of wisdom, right? And I love this, what it says, I'm contending for you that your hearts will be wrapped, wrapped in the comfort of heaven and woven together into love's fabric. Woven together like a tapestry. God's love letter to you and to me. Beloved daughter or son, good morning, guys. I want to give you such a passion for my promises that you will never stop fighting for everything that I have for you. I haven't called you to a life of pure comfort. Sometimes there will be struggles. At times you'll have to fight your desire for comfort in order to live out my amazing call on your life. Just as Jacob did not back down until I gave him my blessings, you shouldn't back down until you have received everything that I have for you. This life is worth fighting for, and I've given you all the strength that you will need to persevere. When you pursue my plans for you, I will fight right alongside you to overcome any challenges that you face, any challenges that you face that is so true love your heavenly father amen and amen to that too often we give up on what god has for us because it's hard and the truth is that anything worth having is worth fighting for in the end giving up doesn't actually give us an easier life but it does make us less effective for Christ. That's so true, isn't it? 
You know, we think sometimes that our life is going to get easy when we give up or we do nothing. And maybe it does get easier, but it's not effective for what Christ has us here for, for his plans and his will. The plans that he has you and me. With God beside us, we can undertake any challenge that is put before us. God is always with you in your fight to overcome. Yes, he is always with us in the fight to overcome any challenges, any trials, any wars, any battles. He is with us. Jesus is the keeper of wisdom and divine knowledge, and we just need to seek that wisdom because he has a purpose for us through it all. He has a purpose through all the trials that we face today and every day and any other in the future to come. Mm -hmm. His wisdom is aligning our vision with what he longs to reveal to us. Yes, it is. And thank you, Jesus. So stop at nothing, guys. Keep fighting. Keep fighting for what you believe in. Keep fighting for tr truth. Keep fighting for the purpose that God has planned for you, for all his promises. Don't give up. Don't stop. Yes, God does love us, doesn't he? Whew. Thank you, Jesus, for that reminder. Thank you, Lord. Guys, I hope that was a blessing to you as it was to me. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Go out there and be a blessing to someone else. Be a blessing to someone, just as I was this morning. It's just that small little gesture, that kind kindness, you know, that you give to someone can make such a difference in our world. Go out there, be a blessing to someone. Steadfast and ready. Be steadfast and ready for all that is to come. In the name of Jesus. I love you guys, and I will see you again tomorrow morning. Bye.